Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The more shadow of the Erd Tree, and we are exploring the land of big fingers. How did I get on top of this rock? Where is this going? Is this a way back to the Cerulean Coast? Oh, what is this? This is an item I have not acquired, and an NPC I haven't found. Finger Weaver's Hovel. Finger Creepers hail from these ruins. Now I must sound this one hanging bell. And sweetly cradled shall I come to be at the bosom of the exalted mother. Well, that's needlessly cryptic. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go see what's in the center. I'm curious. I feel like this has got to be a boss. What else could be here, right? Oh! Is this the bell? I think it is. How do I ring this? I can say the solution is a decent bit dumb. Ah, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Zeppo, is it a solution? I was going to say, is it a solution I'm capable of doing? Can't ring the bell yet. Great. I was hoping to start this off with a cool finger battle against the giant finger boss, but nope. Nope. Guess we're not doing that. Don't even get to ring a fucking bell. In which case, let's head down to the peninsula of the Cerulean Coast. Why can't all these areas be straightforward like Bale? Bale was very straightforward. There was a dude who was screaming in a direction about Bale. And I followed that direction. And, and then Bale was there. Come on, look at this. Giant, open, no enemies. There's gotta be a boss here. Come on, give me a boss, give me a boss, give me a boss. What are we, what are we looking at? Never mind, there are sludgy slimes. Oh, there's so many slimes around this hole. Why is this a big old slime hole? What's going on? Just a load of slimes around a big hole. Ooh! I can go down into the big hole, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a good way to potentially locate a boss. You always want to go down into the big holes. Is this just going to lead to a whole other fucking zone? I, want, I just want a boss game. I've explored a lot. I would like to find a boss. That look. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. It's a sealed gateway. Okay. Oh, what's sealing the gateway? Sealed and obscured by Mikola. Well. Guess we're done exploring the Cerulean coast, guys. Fine. Fine. I guess I'll go explore somewhere else. I'll have to get my fucking notes out. God damn it. I'll explore one of the other 12 pathways I've got. When I say 12... It looks like, at this point, all roads lead to Skadualtus. Oh no! No, there's this whole area that I haven't explored. Let's go there. We're leaving Altus until it is the last and only place that remains. Because there was a big old fire boy here, wasn't there? Is this one of the ones I can fight normally, or am I going to have to craft a load of fucking pots again? Come on, get the stagger. I feel like, yeah, this is, this is the way you're supposed to fight it, is you've got to just get the stagger off. There we are. That's the one. I think. No, do I need to do the other shin? You going down? What the? Why does it keep like slightly shifting, but not really? What's going on there? Why is it like half staggering? Are you gonna go down? Oh fucking hell! Finally! Holy shit! I'm gonna need to do this again, by the way. Ah, oh. I don't know what caused that stagger to actually knock him over. Is it because I staggered the same leg twice? Is that the thing? Oh, this is such engaging combat, guys. Isn't this a fun enemy that they put in the game? Why? Why did they put this enemy in the game? Again, like... what? Would, why did that stagger not knock him over? Do I just need to stagger him three times in order to knock him down? Because that seems like a weirdly arbitrary thing. This is the replacement for the Earth Tree Sentinels, and they somehow came up with something that was more boring to fight. Yeah. And you do need to stagger them three times. Oh, great. Good start. Holy fuck. Why did they design this enemy? Why? Why did they do this? What was the point? You just have to stagger them six times. Like, what? What is the point of that enemy? It's just boring. Honestly, I'd rather just have the Earth Tree Sentinels. Am I supposed to be able to climb up here or is this a way down? Oh, this is a new zone. I like it. Can I get up here? This really does feel like I'm supposed to be getting down here, not up here. But that looks like a manageable jump, yeah. Okay. Surely they wouldn't make it so you could climb it if you weren't supposed to climb it, right? Ooh, I don't know if that's manageable. 
I f again, I feel like this is the point where it's a way down. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to get off. Alright. We we're going to turn around and then we're going to get back on. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Fuck. That definitely looks manageable. No, there's no fucking way. There's no way. Hang on. There's no way I can get up this fucking section and then I can't get up that section. Oh, maybe, hang on. Maybe if rather than get the momentum, I get the height first. So hang on, we do this. Ooh. Th that looks close. I feel like at this point, I'm going to fall into the sunk cost fallacy. We've we've spent enough time on this at this point that there's, there's no way I'm giving up now. Not when I'm so goddamn close. Though, unfortunately, I do think I am getting the impression that this is designed to not be doable. Okay, if we... I'm going to do that a couple more times. If we just get close every time and slide off, I'm just going to assume that it's set up to not be doable. And then we'll leave. But I... It's so fucking close. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh! I am a golden fucking god, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. I was doing that for about 10 minutes. Honestly, I got more elation out of doing that than I got out of beating any of the bosses so far. <laughs> that was my boss. That's what that was. And that's not a, necessarily a dig at the bosses. It's more of an emphasis on just how, how joyous I was at achieving that. Okay, guys, I think I think we may have finally been defeated. I think even the platforming gods aren't going to help me get up that one. <laughs> However, what we can do is check... Oh! We're at the Elak River! I could just go here and then come down. Damn, this would have been way quicker, huh? We almost made it all the way up. It's just this stretch that you can't climb up. Or maybe you can. Maybe I should have persevered and I'd have found a way up here. But, I mean, that's it. Now we walk back. <laughs> We've explored that whole area. Oh, that's an item called a round rock. Can't really argue with that name. Round rock called round rock. I feel like they ran out of ideas for names. I mean, to be fair, there's plenty of things in real life which are named very literally. Can't think of any right now. What? Oh, good. It's you. Kind of curious to know what I get from him, because you do at least usually get interesting things from tree spirits. See? Interesting things. This is the kind of stuff that I want to see more of. What is a horned bairn? Oh my god, it's pursuers. It's pursuers. They put pursuers in the game. Love it. Hey! Okay, this is why we look around. We have a cave. Don't know if I'm going to bother exploring this cave just yet, but, um, yeah, we have a new location. Oh. Damn, really? I thought this was going to lead me up into this little town area here. But it looks like maybe it won't. That kind of leaves us without much left to explore. Let's go to the Rivermouth Cave and see if we can do this little dungeon. Okay, so I've played enough FromSoft games to know that that is a floor that will collapse. So we're going to kind of go around... Oh, I was going to say go around the edge. There's nowhere else to go. Fine, collapse me. Oh, this is a river of blood. And bones. Okay, I like that. This is cool. Okay. Oh. Oh, holy crap. Okay, guys. You ready for a real fucking fight? Yeah, okay. So this is okay, this is one of those things where, like, being ranged is going to make it kind of trivial. So we're not really in for a fight. What we're in for is a massacre. Times like these when we need Dark Souls 2's linked aggro. <laughs> Never thought I'd praise that um, <laughs> mechanic. This is a lot of blood. I am very curious to see what we uh, see through here. Nihil. <laughs> Yes, Nahil. I feel like Nahil might be interesting. Do you imagine if they just duplicated Moog? I guess it's a big boy. Chief Blood Fiend. Oh! Jesus Christ. Okay. He's really going at it, huh? His range is gargantuan and we're in a tiny room. That's a problem. Why the fuck did that hit me? Oh, guys. I do not... Already I'm seeing some fucking problems. What the hell was that hitbox? It's very fast, very flaily, all the things I 
really don't like about modern FromSoft boss design. Yeah, he's like, he feels kind of like the boss version of that, um, the, the like little weak enemy that go, that they have in every single FromSoft game, which, um, which just has that one flail move. Oh, the reward's cool. I'll give him that. The reward's cool, but that was not a particularly enjoyable boss to fight. Let's head to Shadow Altus. I think that's all that's really left. God, this place looks amazing. Let's go do the thing which I marked out absolutely ages ago. Well, no, actually. First, let's go get the map. And then we'll go do the thing which I marked out ages ago and see if we can drop down into this little fort area from up here. Shadow Altus map. Holy crap, look at the size of that. That's like the size of the whole area we've already explored. What the hell? This is literally like two-thirds to three-quarters the size of the base game of Elden Ring. This is insane. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, is this a belfry? I have found one key and one belfry. I see no reason not to combine the two. Ancient Ruins of Rauth. Okay, so that's this section over here. Oh, I think this might be my favorite area in the game. When was the last time you saw a blue sky in Elden Ring? This place looks gorgeous. I wonder if that's the only way to access this zone. Because normally, the belfries lead you to, like, isolated subsections of existing zones. But this seems a little more significant than the other belfries. Oh, no, this isn't a big major thing. This is just whatever this is. Ah, yes, of course. The Verde the the, the Ver Vergadurgen discus. I do love me a Vergadurgen discus. This is great design. I love this. Raises defense with higher equipment loads. So this is to contrast with I don't know what the talisman equivalent's called, but it's the Flynn's Ring effect, right? Flynn's Ring is the name of the item from Dark Souls 3, which boosts your attack power with lower equipment load. This boosts your defense power with higher equipment load to combo with a tank build. This is great. I am gonna love playing like a full-on Great Shield tank in this DLC, I think. I am so fucking looking forward to properly exploring this area when I actually find a way to it. It it looks amazing. Let's walk back though. I think that's all that's here. Okay, so. Oh, how the hell do I get down there? Unless, can I drop, is that a ledge? Oh, those are ledges, right? Yeah, I can drop down those ledges. This is proper FromSoft platforming, this is. Here we are. Now I can finally get revenge on those firebomb-throwing bastards. This is cool, I like this. Is there gonna be a boss in here? That would be sick. Get this guy with a dark moon and then we'll kill him through a shield. Standard stuff. Oh my... I was like, oh my god, he's got so much health. This is a boss! Holy shit. Okay, maybe we won't kill him through a shield. Was that a tongue? Oh my god, he's a black knight? We've got black knights now? I mean, I guess he's dressed in black. Fine. Why is he trying to tongue me? What's going on? Oh no. Don't be gross. Don't be gross and weird. At least it's not a Beyblade. I actually really like this. This is a great design. For new enemy. Oh, that's good range, huh? Oh, this is a cool environment to be fighting him in. Definitely benefits him. Let's get past him just to get a little more room. And obviously we want to roll behind. That's a Radigan move. You know what? That was a relatively easy boss. That, I actually think that was a really cool design. I mean, I know he's just basically like an ascended enemy, but that tongue move was hilarious. I like having a battle with a big great shield guy on a bridge. I think that's cool. That was a nice little detail. I like this. I think that's all that's here though. Let's head back to Skibbity Altus and see what we can find. We can keep exploring the west. Ooh, big church. Now, what do we have? Do we have a boss? Do we have interesting loot? We have exciting lore. What's happening in this big old cross? Thou shalt not evade. Oh, Quilline! This fucker again. Now, if you jump through my dark moon, I'm going to be pissed. Good boy. Welcome to the joys of fighting NPCs with a sorcery build. Phalanx, rinse and repeat until dead. Oop, bugger you. Eh. I'll take that trade. Forsake me now. now you're forsaken, bud. Ooh! We just got a key. We just got a key. What is this key for? Now that is the kind of loot that I like to see. Opens prayer room door in the house of worship found in the church district. Okay. 
We're going to be using that at some point. Probably not anytime soon, though. I've been kind of gagging for a significant boss for a while. There's got to be a significant boss in that shadow keep. We're going to do that. We're beelining. We're just going to go through this area. We're not going to explore too deep. Which is exactly what we did with Castle Ensis, by the way. Except I'm actually going to make a note this time that we didn't explore properly. Somewhere a great rune has broken, and so too has a powerful charm. Did someone just kill Mikola? Okay, so I know I said we were going to explore the keep, but I think we just found something more interesting. Let's head to the fissure and see if that charm being broken means this area is now accessible. There's no barrier here anymore, guys. This is what I was excited for. Please, FromSoft, give me the boss I desire. That's not a boss. That's a whole other zone. Holy crap. The game just keeps going. I think rather than explore this now, I will go back to the keep. I was expecting to walk straight into a boss room. That is not what happened. Let's go, my favorite place. Well, I'm afraid you'll probably have to catch the next stream for me to see me explore it. Because I'm keen to see what's in here. Because this is very clearly a boss room. What is that? Is this the hippo boss that I've heard about? Oh, uh, tis indeed. This seems a little straightforward for us. If this is like the hippo that I fought already, this is bigger, I think. Yeah, this seems too simple. Oh. Oh no, but the other one I fought on torrent, didn't I? That does make a difference. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb, given how straightforward this seems to be, and given the significance, this feels like a phase one. Oh. Okay, it is a phase one. Holy hell. That's cool. I actually like that design. I'm not too big a fan of porcupine shit, but there we go. Fucking hell. Dead, yeah. That grab is the only problem move. Cool. It's a cool design. I might stay close to this thing, just because it looks like a lot of its moves can be avoided more easily by dodging around behind it like that, for example. Okay, you can kind of get out the way of that grab pretty alright. It's not the worst. This feels like too small a room for a boss like this, to be frank. Oh my god. It's a roly-poly. Is that it? Or is that just a phase one? That's it. Very reasonable boss. Next boss will not be so easy for you. Yeah, I, uh, I can believe that. Let's head on into the fort. I think I'm probably not going to too do too much exploring. I kind of want to get to the end of the keep, so what I'm going to do is I'm kind of make going to make my way through it. I'm going to make notes of some of the <laughs> some of the more interesting things. Uh, but I'm going to try and make it to the boss, and we'll do the proper exploring next time. Oh, also, I didn't talk to this person. What do you have to say? Such a thing is utterly inconceivable. We have not been abandoned. Mesmer is the son of Queen Marika. Her grace would never abandon her own flesh and blood. Okay, so Mesmer is also just a random other demigod that we hadn't heard of before. Cool. I'll take it. Oh, it's having four. Fucking hilarious. I can hear someone behind me. I know you're there. Oh, two. Two someone's behind me. Oh, fuck. God, that's bad. Oh my god. Double teamed so fucking hard. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. That's like a... An... It's like one of those ancestor spirits covered in omen marks. Specimen Storehouse. Well, this is the kind of area that's going to have a crap load of stuff in it, huh? This is another cool concept for... Oh, you're a person. Hang on. This is another cool concept for a legacy dungeon. Like, a wizard's storehouse? Sick. Love it. Absolutely love it. So distinct from the ones that we've already had in Elden Ring. It's wonderful. Righteous tonic. So. 
What's up? Yes, that definitely wasn't me. Shush. So, so Mikola has stolen Moog's corpse. Yes. So are we trying to find Moog's corp? We're not going to have to fight a reanimated Moog, are we? Yes, I agree. The implications are deeply unnerving. What the fuck? Oh, what is that? That's not Moog's corpse. Is it? If so, then... Fucking hell. Maybe those are the ancestor spirits. I don't know. They're gathering, like, omen corpses or something. Am I going to have to climb up the giant moog corpse? Because that just feels weird. I killed that guy. Ooh, we have another cross. Mikalikala has been here. Skibbity frag and... Storehouse cross message. Okay. I abandon here my arm dextral. I wonder what all those mean. What's this message? Sir Anne's back. The people of the keep have flooded the holy quarter that leads onwards to the Skadu tree, barring access. There is no route that leads there from this storehouse. Perhaps there is another way to reach the holy quarter from somewhere else in this keep. Okay, so are they telling me that this is a dead end? Is that the idea? Well, you're talking, but you're... Now, now, Freya. Don't let it rile you up. Take it slow. Take it slow. I can lock on to you, though. You a friend? By my lord. No, nope, you're not a friend. Is it you who's talking? Ah, there we go. That makes more sense. Not that it was the person downstairs talking. Hello, who are you? Oh. oh, yes, you're the one with the weird Princess Leia ears. I should have asked Ansbach to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. Who was Ansbach? That name rings a bell. Oh, yeah, so we've, we've run into Ansbach. Ansbach was the uh, the Moog guy, right? Ground floor of the storehouse. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He's, like, way down. I don't think it was down here. This is somewhere else, right? This might be a shortcut, though. Oh! A scroll made of white tree bark. Few can decipher the scroll which describes the secret rite of the divine gateway said to be found at the tower enshrouded by shadow. Oh. That seems pretty fucking important to just be lying around. Can you help with any of the shit that I've got? Can I do both of these? Uh, I mean, hand him the scroll. Why not? Oh, so that's how they got into the Shadow Tree. Vessel of his King Consort. Oh my god. So hang on a minute. I feel like... So again, I know that the final boss is called Promised Consort Radan. And it's like Radan riding, Mikola riding on Radan's back or something. Is it the spirit of Radan inside the corpse of Moog, and that's why I had to kill both of them? Because that is crazy. Righteous time. You have given me, but I can hardly find. I am a warrior, but curse it all. I could spend the rest of my life honing my. The absolute. Oh, okay. So, oh no, I was going to say I can't tell about Freya, but I can. Feeling the need to reaffirm her allegiance before she heads to war. A true red mane she is. Hardly troubled by the rot. Oh, she a servant of Radan. Righteous tarnished. Could you please give this to Freya? Okay. Thanks to you. Interesting. Oh! Am I turning people against Mikola? Is that what's happening? If Mikola is planning to 
put Radan's soul into Moog's corpse and puppet them, then it, it makes a lot of sense that the followers of Radan and Moog would not be too happy with that decision. So am I going to get these guys as, like, allies or something? From Sir Ansbach. On earth could it... Hmm. 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 Yes. Of course. Of course. I see. That's not the reaction I was expecting. Ah, okay, hang on. Yes, okay, so he is. He's bringing Radan's soul back inside Moog's body. Oh, that's bad. So she's now in favor of Mikola's plan. Do you not like that your lord is being turned into Mikola's little bitch puppet? Hmm? I feel like that would be disrespectful to the great Radan. Now I'm assuming this is going to move the specimens, right? Because they're all on chains. Yeah. Look at that. Now we climb the goat to reach the top. This feels more like it. Love it. There's a Stake America here. That's concerning. Well, that looks ominous, doesn't it? Oh my god. Do you think this person's just going to ominously walk towards me very, very slowly? And I can just kill them trivially? Oh. Not trivially, but... yeah. No, they literally are. Good one, Fromsoft. Hey, look, I got a stagger. Hope that enemy wasn't particularly difficult. Is this a boss? I mean, obviously it's a boss. There's a cutscene. Is this a big, old, fiery... Is this a fiery man with a spear? Which is what I'm expecting to find here. Well, there's certainly a lot of... There we go. That was cool. Is Mesmer a snake? Or does he have a snake? Mother. What's that truly lordship sanction? The one so bereft of light. I heard that line. Oh! My god, he's right there. Yet. My purpose standeth unchanged. He's got very long arms and a spear and a snake. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. Have I been stripped of the grace of gold? I thought I had the grace of gold. That's a cool design, though. I love that design. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Okay. Nice intro. Bold. That's a crap. I'm dead. That's a cool death animation, I will say. I have my popcorn ready. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm willing to do a few rounds on him. Not going to be able to go too late. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to beat the guy this stream. Oh, I went early on the second roll. Okay. Let's roll, then pause, then roll. I should probably be healing a little more, huh? Nice combo. Oh, you think I can get a moon off right at the start? There we are. That's the timing. Oh, okay. Big thirsty flame. Big stabby. Oh, that was slightly slower than I expected. Fuck me, running. Okay. That's cool. Oh, crap. Fuck me. I was going to say he didn't kill me, but then he did. I'm curious to see what phase two is like. Maybe time to drop the funny point for some usefulness. What I mean is that maybe time to drop the fat man armor at least for a bit and wear something with better stats. Are you kidding me? This guy's... I'm on my third attempt and I got, like, a third of his health off. That's pretty good. Oh, fucking hell. That grab has similar timing to horror lose, I think. I'm just going to struggle with the grab. Yep, I got up too quickly. No, and I rolled too quickly. Oh, that's different. Fuck. Okay, that also went slightly faster than I expected. Let's see, do I survive it from fall? I, there's no way, right? Oh? I do, okay, so it's if I'm missing a tiny amount of health, then I'm fucked. But I do survive from fall. Yeah, managing my stamina is going to be rough here. What the fuck is that? 
Fucking Beyblade bullshit, sir. You're a spear man, not a Beyblade man. Can I at least see phase two, please? I'd like to. Oh, shit. I just popped up that one. Here's the question, right? Does this fucker have a second health bar? Because if the answer is yes, then this is going to be one hell of a thing. Oh. He's got... Okay, so he, he has two timings on his thrust. He has the long delayed thrust and he has the quicker thrust. And I don't know how to tell which one he's doing. Because if you roll with the timing for the quick thrust, he will hit you with the delayed one. See? Yeah, that's the delayed stab. Oh, fuck. I just cocked up the timing there. Dude, being greedy, that's why you didn't first try the boss, or it's just me who overthinks everything, probably me overthinking. What do you mean, you being greedy? Like, as I say, he's not gonna... It's not gonna be that when I get a minute in, he just stands around and does nothing to allow me to hit him. If I can't find opportunities to hit him in between combos, which his combos are very quick. Like, see there, this is a clear opportunity to hit him, right? But I'm not just going to delay for that attack every fucking time. This also very clear openings. Yeah, that one, see, like, I need to figure out what his combo ending moves are. That's the thing. Ooh, no, you bitch. That move every fucking time. The delay on that just gets me. Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. Oh, I forgot he did that. He does give... Okay, so this guy is actually really quite fair. He gives you so many opportunities to, like, heal. And plenty of opportunities to counter-strike him as well. Like, he gives really good openings. Oh. Fucked up the timing. So I need to remember that Beyblade move hits twice. Once if it goes past. The fuck? No. Okay, I'm dead. Never mind. Oh, I was going to say he's very much at half health now, so. Are we getting a phase two? But yeah, there we go. Let's see then. Because phase one was kind of okay. I will not suffer. Our Lord, devoid of light. Let's see what changes now. Because so far, I think phase one's a pretty good fight. I hope phase two doesn't turn out to be no, mother. annoying. Forgive me. Is he going to kill a snake? Uh, is he going to pluck out his eye? What? Don't see how that helps. Well, interesting choice. Well, then, okay. It's a glass eye, I see. <laughs> Did he just remove his limiter? <laughs> Is this anime? Are we anime now? Oh, what am I looking at? Is that a snake? Was he a big snake all along? Interesting. Of the serpent, of light. Does he have snakes inside him? Oh my god, okay. Base serpent mesmer. Right. Oh, that's, that is so fucking cool. Holy shit. Oh my god, what is happening? Another heal. So he just gets a bunch of serpent moves. Cool. Okay, so it's not a completely different. Look at the way he moves. That was sick. Nibbly serpent. Go oh, fuck. And go, go, go quickly. Damn it. Shit. Fucked up the timing. That's another move that I recognize. I 
That part I don't. Get the snack again. And he jumps straight out of it. Snack again. Snake's gotta have a fucking grab, right? They always do. We're not gonna do a snake enemy without a fucking bike grab. That is sick. I fucking love that. Pop a heal. Whoops. Nope. Fuck. Fucking hell. That was going really well as well. We're good. We're good. We're alive. Oh, I went so early there. Still struggling to figure out what his range is. So that grab came out way faster than I was expecting. Going to keep dying? What do you mean going to keep dying? I'm going to keep winning. I haven't died once. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm running out of flasks. Oh, that's new. Jesus Christ. So that's his um, millennia clone combo, is what that is. Well, I got a little bit of health. No, I don't. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll just perfect the rest. Easy. Ah, got me. Beyblade. Up and down. Fucking hell. Don't get hit by that. Go. Oh. oh! My dodge did not queue. I'm actually really annoyed about that. Oh, fuck. That's bad. I hate the grab. Oh, I don't know why they always give every boss, like... It's not an insta-kill, but it's a close to insta-kill grab, right? It, I, I don't understand why they do that. But every major boss seems to have one these days. Used to be that grab attacks dealt a shitload of damage because they were incredibly slow and clunky. Whereas now, they're deliberate. Even though they're technically slow, they deliberately have awkward timings. Oh, no, that's the thrusty, thrusty one. Good old thrusty Beyblade. That's up and down Beyblade. Poke. Big poke. Oh, uh, not quite. Didn't go uh, early enough. That's up and down Beyblade. Yep, there we go. This move again. Up and down. Really, really bad at dodging that, huh? I'm, what I'm really bad at, actually, is identifying it before he does it. Nice. Oh, fuck. Well, that was bad, obviously. And, oh, could have been worse. Oh, he's going into this move? Fuck. That's quite the combo. But again, there's elements to these combos which I don't see very often because he only does them when you're next to him, right? And I am spending most of my time not being next to him. Oh, okay. Quick scratch. Quick scratch. My leg is itching. There we go. Good stuff. Scrap break. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So that actually does hit you when he comes out of it. I didn't realize that. Beyblade. And block. Oh, didn't quite get the block off, unfortunately. Snack. Oh, I blocked it. Nice. Just the, the way the spear just fucking explodes. Oh, it's this one, okay. And... There's boom with the spirit. 
пойдет. No, go, go, go! Fucking hell. Woo. I nearly went early there. I'm bugging myself. Oh, no, I did go early there. Didn't quite bugger myself, but definitely could have been better. I'm going to need to find the time to get another blue heal off. Oh, that's time. Doing this again. Blade blade, stabbies, block it, and spear. Perfect. Oh, no. Getting stance broke ain't the greatest. I'm actually going to heal. Because I think at this point, I'm not going to die from running out of blasts. I'm going to die from getting fucking one and combo. Yes. Please, do more of your normal moves. I love it. Oh. Oh, went early. And... Fuck. Well, I failed to avoid any or all of those moves, but... Hey. I don't know why I did two, that was obviously wrong. That's his spinnies. Oh, I need to stop. Yeah, okay, I don't need to be quite so aggressive with the heals. Obviously I need to heal now, though. I still have my physic, don't I? Alright, here we are. Let's move again. Oh! That stuff in the middle kind of hurts me? Oh, that's different. Okay. Physic. If you please, thank you. Oops, shit, got me from behind. That hurts. Why do I? Why am I so bad at dodging that second fucking snake, man? And just avoid the boom, thank you. Jesus Christ, man. You're doing a fucking number on me. There we go. Oh, my word. Didn't want to risk another blue heal. <laughs> Please tell me that's the end. There we go. That was an excellent fight. Remembrance of the Impaler and Mesmer's Kindling, which I assume is important for something. Let's cap off the stream and the YouTube video by checking the item description on the Kindling. Burns the Ceiling Tree. Said to be found at the old Rawa Ruins. Oh, so I haven't been there yet. Interesting. I was thinking this might burn away the shadow, but no. It seems this burns away something which we haven't found yet, which presumably will then allow us to get through the shadow. Malevolent snake writhed within Mesmer, and so his very mother plucked out his eye and put in its place a seal of grace. Yet having done so, her fear compelled her to secret away her child within the realm of shadow. Hidden away, keeping company with the original sin and a hatred that would not be confined. So, he was in fact removing his seal. Best fight in the DLC so far. For sure. That was great. I'm not the big, as I say, not the biggest fan of the super high damage grabs, but like it could have been worse. I think the snake stuff was relatively fair. I think the super snake spam move was a bit difficult to follow, but then again, I only saw it like four or five times. So future playthroughs will, will give me the, the lowdown on that one. But yeah, honestly, genuinely phenomenal fight. Absolutely loved it. I guess next time we're going to be exploring some more. I'm going to go back through the actual keep and explore it properly. And then we're going to head to the stone coffin fissure, most likely, because that seems really cool. Other than that, all that's left me to say is that I have been the Lone Ponderer, and this has been my blind playthrough of Shadow of the Earth Tree. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.